So, the details panel makes you feel uncomfortable and lost. Not a problem. This area just tells you information about whatever you click. If you're coming from Blender, this is exactly the same as the Properties tab. If you're coming from Unity, this is literally just the inspector. Every time you click on an object, it will tell you its X, Y, and Z position, rotation, and scale. You can manually set these values, and if at any point you want to revert the values to their original default state, just click the back arrow here. You can also switch these values to identify themselves from relative perspective or world perspective. This can be really useful when you're dealing with an object that is parented to another. For example, let's say we have these two boxes and the one at the bottom is parented to the one at the top. Now when things are parented, the middle of their world becomes the parent. That becomes zero, zero, zero. The child is exactly 100 units below the parent and every time the parent moves around, the child will follow. And because the child's position status is set to relative, it will will always show us negative 100 in this area. But if we change this from relative to world, now these numbers will tell you where the object is not in relation to the parent. Mobility tells you what kind of object you're dealing with. Generally, anything in the game that is not meant to move around like a hard piece of the environment should be considered static. Things that can be moved or pushed around though, like these blue boxes, usually fall into the category of movable. Stationary is usually for things that don't move but can still change. So things like lights that can change colors or intensity or a directional light will often be put into the category of stationary instead of static. Static mesh tells you what the actual 3D part of the asset looks like. Right now it's a blue cube, but you could change this to anything you want like a chair over here. The material of the object will always be seen right here. It's blue right now, but you can change it to any other material in your content browser like wood if you wanted to. And the physics area is where you control how the asset interacts with the gameplay of your environment. If simulate physics is checked, it will behave as if it was part of the world and affected by collision boxes and gravity. If you uncheck check physics, it will then behave as if it's not affected by the physics engine. You can manually set the mass of it if you want. The linear and angular drag is controlled here and gravity. If you want constraints, for example, not being able to move or rotate along certain axes, you can set that right here. Your collision variables are controlled in this tab and its visibility is controlled in rendering. If your mesh has multiple levels of detail for close, mid, and far range rendering, that will be found in the level of detail tab here. Your ray tracing stuff is controlled over here and there are a lot of other details that you could go into on your own time, but the ones I've highlighted are the ones you're probably going to be using the most. So, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.